Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a basic Python Flask application and how to create a Docker image for the Python application. And we have also seen how to create Azure Container Registry. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video first. I'll put the link in the description section of this video so that you'll understand how to create a basic Python Flask application and how to create a Docker image for that application. And in this video, we are going to see how to deploy a Docker image in the Azure App Services and how to access the application deployed in Azure App Services. So for that, we'll follow these two steps. First, we'll push the Docker image that we have created in our local Windows 10 machine to the Azure Container Registry. And then we'll create a web app in Azure App Services and deploy the Docker image that we have pushed into the Azure Container Registry to the web app and access the application running in the web app. So let's get started. So I am in the Visual Studio Code Eater in my local Windows 10 machine. So this is the basic Python Flask application that we have uh, in which we have one endpoint. So whenever we run the application and whenever we hit this application with the root endpoint, so we'll get this message hello from Flask as a response. So if I open the terminal and if I type docker images so you can see i have one image python hyphen web api in my local windows 10 machine so this is the image that we have created for this python flask application so i am in portal.azure.com so if i go to the container registries demo acr004 this is the container registry that we have created up till now we have done all these things in the previous video so if you haven't watched that video please watch that video first so that you will have better understanding on how to write basic python flask application and how to create a docker image for the python applications and how to create a container registry in azure as well and if i come down here and click on repositories So there are no images available in this container registry. So the next thing that we have to do is to push the Docker image that we have created in our local Windows machine to this container registry. So let's do that. So in order to push the Docker image from our local machine to this container registry, you have to authenticate yourself to this container registry. So for that, Go to the settings and click on access keys. So if you create this container registry, so at first you will see this admin user disabled. So please enable this admin user so that you will get the username and password using which you will authenticate to this container registry. So let's copy this login server and authenticate ourselves to this container registry in order to push the docker image so let's use that login server that we have copied to log into that container registry for that we'll use docker login command docker space login space and paste the login server that you have copied you click on enter it will prompt you for the username and password and let me paste it here. So you can see login succeeded. That means we have authenticated to the container registry. So once you log in, you have to tag the Docker image that you have in your local machine to the container registry to where you are trying to push. So let's use Docker tag and i'm trying to tag this docker image that i have in my local machine 
with this ACR domain. So let me copy this one and let me give the name as Python hyphen web API colon 1.0 and click on enter. So we have successfully tagged our image. And the next command that we are going to use is docker push. So using docker push, we'll push this docker image that we have tagged to the container registry that we have created. Docker push and we have to give the image name. Click on enter. So this will push the docker image to the Azure container registry. So now you can see the Docker image has been pushed. So let's go to the Azure portal and see if the Docker image has been pushed to the container registry. or not. So in the container registry, uh, go to the services. And if you click on the repositories, you can see the Python hyphen web API. So if you click on this one, you will see 1.0. So this is the image that we have pushed from our local machine to this container registry. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create the Azure web app in Azure app services. And we are going to use this Docker image and deploy the containers in that Azure web app. So for that, click on the search and search for app service. And click on the app services here and click on the create, click on the web app. So we are going to create a web app for deploying the Docker image. So here I'm going to specify the resource group as demo-rg, which we have created in the earlier videos. And let me give the web app name as Python application. Um, let me give as 004. Yeah, it is accepting. And then instead of clicking on the code, click on Docker container. And the operating system can be Linux. And the region that I'm going to deploy is East US. And if you come down uh, here, you have to select the app service plan uh, based on which the infrastructure will be created for us for running the docker containers so i'm going with the basic one for now and click on the docker page uh, let me go with the single container and the source is here you can see there are many options like azure container registry you can give us docker hub or you can specify the private registry so i'm going with the azure container registry since we have pushed our docker image to the azure container registry and there you can see this is automatically picking the container registry that we have created since there is only one container registry in east us so it is going to pick that container registry and the image is python web api that we have pushed so let me go to the networking section and i am enabling the public access and i'm keeping uh, all the configurations as it is and let me click on review plus create So you can see the app service web app has been created. Click on go to resource. So you can see uh, this is the web app. And if you come to the right, you can see the default domain that we got for accessing our application. And this is the app service plan that we have created for running our containers. And generally it will take four to five minutes for running your Docker image as a Docker containers in this web app. So let us wait for three to four minutes and then I'll come back. So I have waited for around five to 10 minutes. So let's click on this default domain and see if that application is up and running or not. So here you can see we are getting the response from the application endpoint that we have created. So in this way, you can deploy the Docker images into the Azure app services that is onto the Azure web app.
and using the default domain you can access the application that you are running yeah that's it from this video if you think you have got some information from this video please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that it gives me a motivation to do more and more videos thank you